Hi boys and girls, welcome back. I'm Ms. Alaya. Thank you for joining me again. So today I would like to talk to you guys about sorting and classifying objects. And the way we're going to do that, we're going to sort and classify by shape and also by size. So first of all, I would like to talk to you guys a little bit about what is sorting or to sort something and what is classify mean. So let's start with the first one, to sort. Basically what it means when you sort is to separate a bunch of different objects in a special way. So think about separating, okay? That's what sort or sorting means. So when I say sort, that's what I'm talking about. So the next word we're going to look at is classify. When we classify something, it's basically putting things in a group or a special category, okay? So let's look at some examples now. Okay guys, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to sort some shapes. So the first items I have here, as you can see, I have some shapes here that I'm going to start taking out of the, of the, cap, of the cup and I'm going to sort it. So I have rectangles and remember I'm going to choose one shape. So I choose one shape because I'm categorizing, I'm sorting and I'm also going to classify it by one shape here and whatever is not that shape I'm going to place it here. So I'm going to pull out my rectangles. So if it's a rectangle I want to place it on this side. So anything that is not a rectangle will go on this side. So here's my next shape that's also a rectangle. So I would place it here. Next shape it's a circle so it doesn't belong here it belongs in the not rectangles. Here's another one. It's a smaller rectangle, so it belongs on this side. Now I have this shape. Looks like a triangle. It doesn't belong here. It's not a rectangle. It belongs in the not rectangle. Next I have, it looks like a circle. It belongs in the not. And I have, I'll do a few more here. This is a, oops. It's a square. It looks like it has four sides, but remember, a square is not the same as a rectangle. So it belongs on the not rectangle. Looks like another square. So once again, I'm gonna place it here. And here I have a small triangle. So I'm going to place it here, and I'm going to pull up. I have one more rectangle, so it belongs on the rectangle side. So remember, this time we are sorting by shape. So the shape here is a rectangle and the shapes here are not rectangles. Very good. I'm going to do another example. And this time my example is going to be using some 3D forms. So now I'm going to take my little shapes off of here. And as you can see, these are 3D. So going to go ahead and get started and this time I want to pick little cylinders so I'm going to place my cylinder here anything that is a cylinder it will go on this side but if it's not a cylinder that means it goes on the not cylinder side so here's my next shape I have a cube so it goes here it's not a cylinder this looks like a sphere a sphere is not a cylinder so it belongs on this side. Okay, here's my next object. It's a cube. That's not a cylinder. So it belongs on the not cylinder. What is this shape? It looks like it's a cone. A cone is different than a cylinder, so it belongs on the not cylinder side. Okay, this looks like another cylinder. So guess where I'm placing it? cylinder side and then I have a few more shapes to go I have another cube it goes on the not side I have another cylinder this one also belongs on the not and I have two more shapes that I'm going to finish up here and it looks like I have a cone and a sphere so both of these are not cylinders they belong on this side very good I have some 3D shapes here for you. Okay, we're going to sort these as well. So the kind of shapes I have here, I have a cube, 
I have a cylinder, cone, and a sphere. All right, let's see what we have in, to, in, the, little, um, in the little sorting can here. I have, it looks like a cube. So I look for the, for the area that says cube. I have one here. Let's see what else we have. Looks like a cylinder. So this cylinder, I'm going to place it right here. Very good. All right, let's see what else we have. Looks like another cylinder. So I'm going to place it here. Let's see if it fits, okay? Right there. Next, I have another, let's see. Looks like another 3D shape and this time, uh-oh. Just fix that a little bit. And it looks like I have a cone. So the cone goes right here. Very good. And now I have another cube. So the cube, I'm gonna place it right there. Very good. Okay, one more shape. It looks like it's a cone. So where is my cone? I have right here, cone. Okay, one more shape. Ah, it looks like a sphere. I have one sphere. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and count to see how many we had in each one. Ready? One, two. We had two, two cubes. How many cylinders? One, two. Very good. And how many cones did we sort? One, two. Very good. And how many spheres? One. Good job, guys. Very good. So now we sorted by shape. So that was sorting by shapes. Okay, now for the next part of our lesson, I want to talk to you guys about big and small. So big and small. Remember the shapes we started out with? Okay, we can sort these shapes if they are big or they are small. Remember these two are opposites. Okay, let's see what we have here. I have, and I'm just going to show you the shapes. They're different size shapes, okay? Now, let's see what we have here. I'm going to pull out the two triangles so you guys can see both of them at the same time. I have two triangles here. One is big and one is small. So I'm going to place all of my big ones on one side and the small where it says small. Okay, let me choose two rectangles. You guys can see both of them are very different. One is large or big and the other one is small. So the small one goes here, big one here. Very good. I have two circles. Actually, I have three circles. Let me show you. So here's one, two, three circles. What do you guys notice here? Notice I have two large circles and one is small. So I'm going to place the small one here and the big ones will go on the big side. Very good. All right, now I'm going to show you the last shapes that I have here. Okay, I have two squares. Both of them look about the same size. And these are actually big squares. So we'll place them right here on the big side. And then I have these last rectangles. What do you guys think? The blue and red, where do the red and the blue go? That's right, they go here in the big side. Good job. And then I have a smaller rectangle. It goes right here. All right, very good. These are some shapes that are sorted, remember, if they are big or if they are small. Good job. Okay, here's a fun one. Look at these. What do you think these are called? Do you know? That's right, they're clothing pins. Okay, I'm sure you've seen this before, but if not, they're basically to um, hook or to hang the clothing outside so it could dry up. So I have these. Remember, I need to sort by big and small. So help me sort these out. 
All right, here we go. Here's my mat again. Are you guys ready? All right, here we go. I have a red, a yellow, and this one. Look at the colorful ones. Where do they belong? On the big side or the small side? That's right, these two colorful ones go on the small side. Yay, how about this one? Well, this one looks like it belongs in the big side. Very good. Okay, I have, I have a few more. And it looks like I have two small ones here and then another big one here. Okay, let's put out the rest of what we have here. I have two more small ones and one more big one. So I'm going to put that one in the big side and this one in the small side. All right, boys and girls, you did such a wonderful job. Stay with me so you can help me in the next, in the next um, section. Now it's your turn. We're going to look at some examples on, you know, categorizing and sorting that we looked at. So the first example, here you can see it. Jimmy has some shapes. He has sorted and classified these shapes. Um, now pay close attention how he classified and sorted both of these shapes, okay? It looks like Jimmy has all squares and the other one is not squares. Very good. Okay, the next example. Now Amy also has some shapes and she also sorted them and classified them. How do you think Amy classified and sorted her shapes? It looks like she has all circles on one side and not circles on the other. Very good. Now, let's look at the next example. The next example, we see a triangular tortilla chip and we also see a triangle shaped watermelon slice. Now, remember when, when we talked about big and small, which of these objects would I place in the large or, or the big section? It looks like we would place the watermelon. Very good. And on the small side, we would put the tortilla chip. Good job. Now here's the next example. Here we see a rectangular door and we see a rectangular shape for a window. Now, which one do you think would be the big one? The window or the door? Looks like we would place the big one would be the door and the smaller one would be the window. Good job. And one more example. Here we have uh, a circular pizza. So think of a pizza, whole pizza. And we also have a cookie. So think about the sizes of those two. Now, which one would go under the big one? The pizza or the cookie? Very good. The pizza would go in the big and where would I put the cookie in the small very good thank you so much for joining me today see what objects or things you can find at home that you guys can classify and also sort either by shape or by size and let me know put it in the comments see you guys next time